This is a quick video on how you can solve the ESLint no unescaped entities blah 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 error in React. All right, now if you hover it, this is coming from ESLint, which is a linter uh, here used in Next.js, and they will actually sh explain wh why this um, gives us this issue. All right, so a linter is just basically checking your uh, syntax to prevent certain issues. So if we click here, they give some examples of why this can be an issue so here this this particular rule um they have some examples now i find the examples a bit contrived and um i think if we make this mistake for example we'll it we will be notified in a different way so i think it's safe to ignore this rule so what do you want to do if you think the linter is being a bit too strict and you want to ignore this issue because the alternative would be writing something like um something like this so we have to uh, you know for every apostrophe we have to use this html entity i think this looks really ugly and i don't want, i don't want to write this i just want to write it like this and i'm willing to accept well the risk i guess uh, i don't think there's a real risk here but i'm willing to ignore this rule so what you can do there is an eslint configuration file here in your project and here we can say extends and we can say rules and actually we already get the suggestion make sure you write rules in double quotation because it's a json file and then this rule is called uh, react forward slash no unescaped entities you can write off as a string or as a number zero right so true would be one you can also write true or one if you want it on but by default it's on so it doesn't make sense so we can write zero here. If we don't go back, you can see that uh, warning is gone. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.